so somebody so now if it's somebody like Cruz who does hair yeah how does that get on an nft like there's i mean he can he can do virtual hair no like, oh. no no so so nfts and the like meta are different yeah right, they're right. different they're you can cross NFT is like something that you would have like like yes. in the, the metaverse like right. like like Got music it. art videos clothes um, clothes but the meta is like where you have an avatar where you have you know you, like like a grand theft auto kind of the not Sims. without yeah, yeah in real life okay i have a gameplay for you though Wait, hold on, hold oh, on. Sorry. I 10%. take another ten percent. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that was yeah, guys coming. got like fifty yeah. percent. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, before you leave, you have. Like, she you got know, her hands he, in everybody's he, uh, pocket. The other day, I, he like texted me. He's like, "Yeah, dude, we're like stuck together, you know, for life." And I was like, "Till death do us apart." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Till death do business <laughs> marriage. So some serial killer business maybe death marriage. us apart. Yeah. <laughs> business marriage. What's yeah, the idea? Business. Yeah, business marriage. So what might be cool is you create like a scissor token, a virtual three uh, D scissor. And that's your NFT. And people that have that could either have discount and hair services or yeah. they can attend your classes for free <gasps> yeah. or go to specific conventions with you with these big hair influencers or whatever the case may be. Or you can host a class like let's say you do a lot of classes, you know, where you're he's he's an educator. He is so talented. Um, you know, whenever you host these classes where you're teaching instead of you selling them, you know, a ticket or, you know, instead of Some them NFT. sell them an mm -hmm. NFT. So then every time, you know, if they, they have a ticket, let's say they want to, they don't want to go or they are not able to go instead of refunding them back and tell it's someone else. And then you get 10% mm -hmm. of their royalty of the sale. And to take it a next step income, further, baby. <laughs> make it two tiers. One yeah. that's in the higher tier is in person uh, class. And the bottom yeah. one is virtual class. You just stream it or whatever. And it's displayed in your land and in the yeah. and in, in metaverse. Or you can even have it a fucking hair too. salon at the metaverse for crying out loud. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, need, I was like, I need my hair did in the metaverse. I need to You'd be, be the fucking... first one headliner right, right there. there. The first. I, I already take crypto. I already take yeah. crypto. He said, yeah. I already take yeah. Yeah. Pilates and the way my bank account set up. You could do your classes days. on the metaverse. You know, yeah, people so people no, attend it virtually. You know what's crazy? That's literally why it took me so long to get in this space because originally. You know, me and Manny have known each other for five, six years prior to working together. Mm -hmm. And I would literally always see him post stuff. And it got to a point where I was like, dude, I'm like, I don't understand it. This is like, you know, and then I started seeing other big people that I'm personally friends with that I were getting in the space and were making so much money. And I was like, what the fuck? This cannot be real life. Yeah. And you just don't realize it because we've just been so groomed in this world to just have one concept and it's I like agree. go to work go home mm -hmm. this is what you do you work hard in this but like why would you want to work harder and not smarter you know now you can multiply your assets and not you don't just have to own a business and especially after covid a lot of business owners they took a huge hit because you're not able to leave your house mm -hmm. and that's when it's like you know even if that happens you're still able to make money just from fucking sitting at home and watching mm -hmm. killer documentaries yeah <laughs> just to supplement on that um Four months ago, I got a free NFT. It was gifted to me. And like a week ago, I woke up to an email that says, your item sold for $10,000. I was like, really? Stop. Yeah. So, so fucking lunch on I you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like what? I don't even remember I had this thing. You know what I'm oh, saying? Wow. But someone thought it was interesting and decided to drop three Ethereum on it. And so do you feel like both of your lives have changed since starting this? Or is it something that changes when Later, did you start? Honestly, January last year. you know what's really fucking crazy? That's my life would have really changed like a week ago. Like when I tell you my life would have changed, I had been posting this NFT and some like there's some projects that don't drop like they're they're kind of hard because they don't take Ethereum. They take like other types of currencies. So you have to like move it and you have to pay you have to pay a fee. That fee is called gas prices. So when you see people saying gas is high, they're not actually talking about like, gas. Um, it is. Yeah, no, it, it, it is high. Like, you know, sometimes gas is like six, seven hundred dollars. And that's just it gets the fee. crazy. It gets crazy. Um, but I was looking at this project and it was just so trippy. Like I like trippy stuff. I like colorful. I like I like just weird shit. Like if it's weird, I like it. And I was looking at this project and I posted a whole bunch of videos on my Instagram. And I've been so busy with this woman empowerment, 
home decor project podcast that we have. And I was like, just, I put reminders on my phone, didn't see it. I woke last night, I was up at like one in the morning. It was on Warren Buffett's, um, like rich people's NFT, whatever. It sold for $3.7 million. Like I would have been on a fucking island right now, guys. <laughs> Can wow. you guys believe? And it's like those. It's there's. What do you just, mean? What did you miss? So, so it was. It was like an NFT that dropped. It was a project, and and that's the thing that some people get. But it, what should you have done? I should have bought it. I just didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I put a reminder to to oh, buy, it. buy it, and she and, missed the and I missed and I missed a drop. You know, oh, okay, and then okay, somebody okay. bought that one for three point seven million, and that's the thing that people don't get. That's how people, you know, NFT has opened the door for people to become million millionaires overnight. And it's kind of like so hard to grasp because the way we, I think, you know, before I was like, oh, for me to make a million dollars, I have to create a business, residual income, build a team, you know, right. have a foundation. And now it's like, if I just buy like one fucking little piece of digital art, you're telling me like I could do this too. So that's, that's what the craziest part is and that's the addicting part it's but, like is this gonna you're always chasing that nft like is this the one you know all it takes is one nft, one to NFT. Change your but life. is that a strategy to that the, or is there it is. just like there's a whoa, huge strategy like, so then that's catch my master class no. No, uh, <laughs> no it's 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 part of being you know part of a good community you know i i'm busy all day besides the nft world i do so much physical stuff what you know, do you do what else do you do um i own a pharmacy i a pharmacy a pharmacy i wait tell I'm us a, more about that it's privately owned so it's 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 not anything fun it's it's like oh, so it's like a physical pharmacy yeah, like a fit, no yeah no. you go there <laughs> yeah yeah, no, yeah now yeah, we're like confused like, if we're in metaverse oh, wow. in real life <laughs> that's like yeah amazing. yes and so then now we're partnered with the gallery we have our home decor um we just launched a podcast you know recently that we're give we're, us your podcast yeah, what is it called shout out it's well it was nft couch talk but um, we got picked up in our second episode. Yeah. Um, you know, like I said, Des is a good friend of mine and he was he's always been wanting to do something with me. And I was like, Well, we got this podcast. He was like, Let's all three do it. And so now it's probably nothing. Was, probably nothing world. So probably uh, nothing is a phrase that people say in the NFT crypto space. When uh, something uh, when something serious is about to happen, oh, they probably say probably nothing. nothing. Probably nothing. <laughs> you know, so that's so cute now, though. What a no, and world. It's, that's why I'm like, it's probably nothing. You know, okay. like oh, oh hold on, a probably second. nothing. No big deal. Yeah, I yeah, was like, this no probably deal. nothing. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's like that's, okay. that's and then yeah. boom, a million that's dollars. Funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. but how cool is this? They have one podcast and the second one, Des Bryant now wants. To well, actually, it was technically the third. Oh, the third episode. Third episode, but it was. Well, sorry. <laughs> and, 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 and the first episode, I give it to all like you podcast hosts, like everybody that is doing this. I commend you so much. Manny and I literally just to record our first episode. We did it, three episodes. We did it. We did because, because technical difficulties. No, first time oh. I like this is actually the craziest story. I bought this uh, and somehow the we, we had a certain day we were going to record and they the male people said they lost it i went i and we already had a time so i went to best buy I bought all the stuff oh my God. wait and then as i'm walking as he's walking place, up to my there's place a box there's a box in my door <laughs> and she was like all shit. oh shit this is our podcast equipment <laughs> i was like so Dude. now we got two sets and no and then on top of that we were like we we did like the first one we've ever done so fucking hot you nailed know it. like fucking nailed it Fire. i was like who is that person <laughs> then we didn't fucking record it oh, oh, the audio audio the audio didn't record the audio was recording through the laptop and not Dude. the mixer then second time <laughs> second time we didn't actually record it. Yeah, second time it didn't record. Dude, the, th by the third time we're like, we just like went for it, and like, it actually <sighs> did like it recorded. The fire it was, was gone, fine. but it but was yeah, still the fine. fire was gone, but it recorded. But it, it was funny, and it yeah. wasn't even supposed to be like we were just trying to feel each other's vibe to see if we're like, oh, can we even work together like separate, like just in general. Technically, or, our pilot. Episode, yeah, so. <laughs> and then it just kind of we didn't realize how good it was gonna do. We're like, okay, all right. Yeah. We got a lot of support. Yeah, a lot of support. That's, That's awesome. awesome. And it's on you guys. YouTube or it's is it YouTube. on YouTube? YouTube. And it's Spotify. Probably nothing. Is that what it's it called? was not 
uh, NFT, NFT couch, couch talk. talk. But um, we just we're, changed it. Now yeah. we have a new co-host. Nice, way icy. cooler than us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably so. nothing. Probably, Probably nothing. Probably yeah. nothing. <laughs> that is amazing because you can do so much with probably yeah. nothing oh yeah, yeah. I mean, oh yeah well we're hosting um a woman empowerment event tonight yeah. with um you know I, I heard some big names are coming manny would probably shoot me uh, my son name so or actually manny i mean you wanna it's her? gonna be at dez's house um he's so no it's you, a you private can location say, you can I mean, say yeah, names it's in the metaverse. because this episode <laughs> oh, yeah, will, will be, will be oh, yeah. a few yeah. weeks yeah. so yeah, okay. you'll you'll Perfect. see it in people's stories yeah, yeah. Uh, trayvon yeah. diggs um Paige Hathaway. leon Leon Bridges, Paige Hathaway might come through. Um, no, probably nothing, you know. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and I we're having that. a private chef. We're having bartenders. Um, Are you inviting it's gonna yeah, be a I, bar, no, yeah. No, I, I am it's inviting, women I, it's, I'm you know? inviting oh, you guys. Wow. And, what, and yeah. what I like about it, it's like a lot of these women in NFT have real businesses. They're, this is not what they do for a living. You know, right. this, they're just not getting into the space because it's so new. So they're like, Obviously, if you're jumping into this, you know, you have a business, you are tied somehow. So we're wanting to bring a powerhouse of women together to connect them, not just in like the virtual world, but in real world as well. Like I've met so many cool girls. You know, there's a girl flying from Canada for the event. There's a girl flying from California from the event because we've been friends with them in the NFT community. And, you know, wow. now and, and they're really fucking cool in real life. Like one one girl that i know is coming owns a dispensary you know in oregon and it's oh just like goodness. yeah and it's like so owners. yeah and it's business That's people amazing. that are like so different but then we're so alike because we all we're share supportive we're though supportive. too yeah mm -hmm. which is and, and we we try to stick together you know it's it's all about working together mm -hmm. than working against each other competition yeah, is not going to get you you know what's the point of competing when there's enough bread loaf for everybody to eat? I love so that. So tell us a little bit about this project. How would some uh, someone want that? Someone's interested. How would they contact you? How would they, you know, yeah. get involved with this? Um, which 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 part? With your women empowerment. With women empowerment. So we. Well, what I'm doing is my goal for the women empowerment group is I want to build a board of of directors. And I want us to host like the biggest woman empowerment NFTs. And a lot of these women, I mean, it's crazy. This girl that is part of our community, she owns a board ape. And like a board wow. ape wow. is Talented like, artist like and she's literally like, it just blows your fucking mind off. Like you don't even know who you are connected to and the networking they have. And so what I want to do is bring these powerful beautiful diverse group of women you know and if they're not educated if they just want to learn about the space educate them you know show them how to be successful how to not get scammed and not just network in a virtual world but physically you know we have we also do, our woman group has is nationally we have girls in california oregon we jump on a zoom you know, we educate them. If they don't know what they're doing, we kind of walk them through, give them that one-on-one -on -one relationship. And in return, what we want is, you know, that loyalty to help us grow as well. And it's wow. like, you know, and, and, and we're doing it because I want to be the first people in the space to be like, holy fuck, these group of woman army are like, <laughs> who the fuck are they? So have you, you had know? an event yet? We've had a virtual a Zoom event, okay. but this is our first in physical real. event. Real. Tonight? Tonight. Tonight. Nice. It's at from oh, it's awesome. from seven to twelve AM. Um it was yeah. seven to nine, but we didn't wanna kick Yeah, no, we're out like we're like we're like, like let's get the hang out, fucking hang party out, going. You know? Yeah. So I like a good party. Yeah. Des is doing a lot of legwork right now, cleaning yeah. the house. And yeah, buying. poor guy. Yeah, and then I'm... And his pool table broke trying to move it. I was like, damn, bro. Uh, no fucking way. Yeah. Damn. No wonder he wasn't talking. <laughs> like, damn. No. So how does, some, how does uh, someone interested get in touch with you if they want to be a part of this? Yes. So um, they can either find me on Instagram, Deborah.m underscore. You can reach out to me. Um, reach out to Manny. You can find me on Twitter. Debra underscore Marokin, or you can email me, Deb at nftcouchtalk.com. I mean, you know, you can reach me in any way, you know, just obviously if you're a woman reaching out, I am more than happy to help. And if I'm not able to help you in some sort of way, I know someone in my team is, you know, and so that's what gives me that safety being part of a community is like i'm not gonna fail because the people that i know are so 
have been there so much longer than me and have really guided me to where I am today that it's like, there's no way I can fail, you know? And it, and if I do, it's, it's not like, it's not the end of the world for me because I learned from it and I keep going and it's not giving up, you know, just pushing through. No, but yeah, like amazing. I would love to help any woman watching this podcast out. I yeah. mean, I'm I'm very open. I'm very down to earth. I know sometimes this might not seem like it on my pictures oh, yeah. with all the you seductive s- photos. I just looked at them. I was like, oh my god, I it's know so hot on here. No, so but <laughs> I'm I'm honestly so down to earth. Like Manny would tell you, I'm home. Like I. 90. She's a homebody. I'm a, a homebody. Like uh, I love yeah, to I work. Like that, yeah. I love yeah. to work. I would literally sit on my laptop and work all night before maybe like going out for drinks. You know, like it's just like I'm so dedicated to this, and I know the growth that's gonna come, and I know me investing in this woman is gonna pay off because now they're gonna be boss babes in that world, mm-hmm. and it's just a better reflection of our brand and what we stand for, and it just gives us that so much credibility. Wow. That's yeah. so impressive, and, and yeah. so. Like I still have so many questions, yeah, but I feel it. like chicken tonight. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come tonight. I no, feel seriously, like I can. Like I feel like I have like help that is like yeah. nice. So I don't feel yeah. stupid. Don't feel, yeah, yeah, I don't feel. And there's no question that's dumb because I mean, if I've asked any dumb questions, Manny would be the one to be like, <laughs> no, yeah. But there's no dumb question because you're literally going into a new world. Yeah. And like Literally, there's there's nothing I mean, dumb about it. It's like when you learn to speak, you know, you don't know what the fuck's going yeah, on. Right. And then you have your mom to help you, <laughs> you know, your parents to help you out. So it's the same thing. We're here to guide you. We're here to support you. You know, there's people. Manny does one on one classes. There's pe- girls that text me this and that. And I've made honestly, I have friends that are in my NFT community that I've never met in my life that would literally fly from anywhere to come support me than people in real life i i believe you that. know oh, and yeah. it's so fucking crazy how genuine these people are yeah. because they see the same thing you do and mm-hmm. it's like damn you guys support me more than like some people i fucking know but so, i like that because i we talk about women can be so awful but then to find women that are supportive is, is probably fun. the best thing ever yeah. that there's yeah. no jealous ten- you really actually yeah. genuinely want because if you succeed. win it's a better reflection of how good of a teacher i am yeah. and how well i've taught you the more successful you are the more credibility and successful i look yeah you know and, and and it puts me on a platform to really have a wider reach because you probably know a lot of females that you know probably don't know how to get on the space too and so I, then yeah. you're building me a bigger network and then we can just we're together. together. Yes. We're together, not I against love each that. other. It's That's all about amazing. community, right? As humans, we always want to belong to something. And he's the heart of the team. That's yeah. why, like, Aww. people, you know, sports fans wear jerseys because they feel like they're part of that fan, that team. True. Um, we yeah. all, it's all about community and everything we do in life. Um, hair community, dance community. It's all about community. And that's, that's one of the biggest take in NFTs is, you build a strong community, your your project, your NFT project, whatever the case may be, will never die and it will just skyrocket, right? Yep. Um, and community supports each other, you know. Do you guys get percent. together like on a weekly basis, or how do you um, do this? Or is honestly, it more like oh, you... with the woman, I think you met each other. No. I was like, honestly, you two. Us two? all of you we guys, talk all like... day nonstop. <laughs> yeah, and it's and it's pretty crazy because um, even at me three and... in the morning. No, and it's. It's really crazy because, like, Manny's personality and my personality, we're kind of, like... Polar opposites. Polar opposites. <laughs> like, I, he's so laid back. Like, yeah, you know, like, all right, cool. I welcome uh, chaos. She's very, like... Structured. Yeah, structured. <laughs> I need organization. And yeah. I'm just like... No, and he's <laughs> like, no, it's fine. And I'm the person, like, we have an event. I'm, like, stressing. We have to do this, this, this. And Manny's like, okay, I'll just show up. Like, you know, <laughs> but it's so crazy because it actually works for us. And... I know that if anything, like if I have any type of questions about anything or somebody that I know has a question and I'm not able to answer them, I redirect them to him. He is so welcoming and he's the one that really kind of took me under his wing and, you know, network with some of the people that he networks with. And I'm very grateful for because I've learned so much and both of us together have been able to open doors that we never thought we would be able to open just like now we're working with an art gallery, you know, and it's the right. first NFT art gallery in Dallas. It's probably the one of the first NFT galleries nationwide, mm-hmm. you know, wow. and so we're breaking those barriers and to have like, you know, a woman part of that. And it's like, 
anybody can do this and especially you know you think like art you think someone older and it's like when they see me they're like this girl like you Uh, know what i mean and you don't expect that from me and it's like breaking those barriers especially like pink hair you know it's like what there's no way you can't be a professional and it's like i own a pharmacy Mm -hmm. who's gonna stop me it's like breaking those barriers like it's changing you know what i mean it's like okay and what this is what i how i want to express myself these are the things i want to do and this is who i am and it's being authentic and genuine and like you know at the end of the day i don't care if people like me or not it's who i am right yeah i love that's I how know. it should be. Should be. Drops the mic. That, Bam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's crazy. I wow. love it. I do too. I think there there are all these misconceptions that women have to yeah. like just women are so like, catty. Yeah. yeah. Or, 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 or like we have to be. I don't like, know if that's a misconception. Or, or, it's like, <laughs> they are. Or, or it's like you have to like dress a certain way and you can't be sexy because yeah. then you're looked at like, oh my God, like she's, you know dirty or whatever it's like or like she's wearing something this or just the way she looks but it's like we're fucking human like yeah. we should be able to express ourselves like why you are you being to? kept in a box i had a woman tell me the other day and i Fuck don't her. think she <laughs> meant it bad i think I'm well <laughs> we we're talking about my dating situation and um she was funny because she goes well you should probably tone down your instagram like if i want to find a husband oh i get that all the time i get that uh, all the time no fucking way i will never (laughs) tone better deal with this right (laughs) because you because it's it's their like reflection of how they feel about themselves projected Mm -hmm. on you and once you start living that life that's like you know this is who i am i know who i am people can say whatever they want about me but unless i talk to you every day and you really get to know me you don't know me right you know you you have a perception of what you think i'm like right but until you really get to like be with me talk to me like people get so surprised the way that i speak or like the way i carry myself because they're like you do not look like that but i'm like okay what am i supposed to look like in in, in your perception right Right. i'm not living your life i'm living this for me so i can do whatever i want so don't stop being that person if you want to be hot fucking be hot (laughs) any guy that's confident with himself and that knows what the fuck he wants he's not going to be intimidated by somebody like that he's going to he's going to be like that's my fucking girl Mm -hmm. and what Mm -hmm. i know she's what the type of person she is she's not gonna just because she's hot she's not gonna give into it yeah Yeah. you know she knows what she is and any confident guy will vouch for that yeah and if he's not like that and he's jealous in this drop him he's a fucking loser yeah Yeah. Yeah. yes she is another mic drop Uh, <laughs> Marcella, you need to hang out with Deb more. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. Was and, and, you know, and you know what's crazy? I'm single. <laughs> oh, perfect. She's single. And perfect. It's like, fuck, I have all this advice. And like, <laughs> honestly, and that that's probably it. Like I've I've had his situation before and relationship, and you know, now we're we're friends, but um it's just understanding that like I am who I am mm. and like I'm not scared to be alone and and you know I'm not scared and that's probably why I get so dove into my work and my business is because like I keep myself busy I don't keep myself like damn same um but you know it's 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 finding the right person I think eventually if you're doing the things you're supposed to be doing aligning with what you believe in your passions it's gonna come yeah you know you know and and when it comes it's gonna be life-changing like my mom met this guy on fucking what is it open fish or something like that i kid you plenty not. of fish plenty yeah of plenty of fish yeah no, way. Like, gente. no plenty of fish i kid you not my mom is 56 plenty of fish dude she got married 60 days later didn't even tell me traveling the world right now Damn. living her best fucking life what dude Damn. like eight carat ring just like living her fucking life and she's never been this happy her whole life you wow. know what I mean? Good for your mom, yeah, by and the it's way. like, damn, like you know, whenever it comes, you never don't know. don't never be know. intimidated. But like, damn, I'm getting older. Like this, like no, I'm just getting wiser. I'm just getting smarter. I'm just getting more successful. You yeah. know, and when it comes, it comes for sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think people are intimidated by a beautiful, strong, independent, yeah, smart woman or businesswoman. So then you have that too, because yeah. a lot of people are in the old mindset. Yeah. You know, the old rich guy or the whatever, like women yeah. just sit back in the corner and yeah. look pretty. Or like what your that parents anymore. want. It's like yeah. trying to fit that like mold. It's like, oh, like my friends would want me to be with someone like this just because, you know, your friends are with someone like that. But at the end of the day, when you really dissect the relationship, are they happy or are they just doing it because of like what you're expected from like society? Mm -hmm, You know, like, oh, like 
we went to the same college together, the same university. We we work the same you know type of job. But it's like no, like if you're powerful and you know how to carry yourself and you know what you want, it it's kind of like you can't. I can't really settle. Like Not I have. Settle. You, I, I really can't settle even if I wanted to because like I'll talk to a guy and then the way <laughs> he thinks, yeah, like the way the way he thinks, I'm just like, bro, I am so like I can't even hold a conversation with you, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's it's just kind of like doing what you do. Yeah. I mean, and you're so beautiful, so I feel Thank like you. it's it. He's he's probably <laughs> watching this episode. <laughs> he's probably watching this episode. So which I told I tell everyone, I'm like, I think I might be too comfortable single though because I love being like alone alone <laughs> <laughs> with, well, her, with her serial have documentaries <laughs> no then you have to have killer. someone change your mind that, yeah, no, those yeah. are the real yeah. ones yeah so. maybe i'll meet him in the, in the metaphor that's exactly true you got to meet someone <laughs> that's gonna sweep you off your feet yeah. that's yeah. what mm-hmm. yeah ain't no man strong enough for that yet and you yeah. know what you want so. yeah yeah i'm no. good with that yeah so january 2021 you January got into 2021. this. Yep. That's, That's not long. So short. I was August. Yeah. So like, think about it's not even. That's how been, fast that shit moves. It's and it hasn't even. So and fast. in those like since August to what we're Feb, you know, it's yeah. like can, can, I've we've had a home decor that's launching. We have a a premiere tonight at the party. Um, we have partnered with the gallery defi wait tell we, us tell us everything tell what's the, what's the name the what, i mean yeah you're, you're, well we we just you know, can't shout we, out we to actually all that. can't um drop the home decor. Uh, okay. we can't say or whatever you yet. can whatever you can um, like, we you can't know, drop the home decor yet but shout out will probably be in uh like you know three weeks, three to four weeks from now yeah. so yeah. Uh, shout out to whatever you want uh, whatever bam. you can yeah puts us in a tough situation because we we, we really cannot or just oh, wh- whatever you can or whatever uh, you want so that the, our audience can hear yeah you you can definitely find us on gallery defa you can definitely find us on um probably nothing t- world tv <laughs> um you know you can find us on symbolico um our early episodes of nft couch talk, couch talk are on but, youtube but now we're we're moving to a bigger platform, hoping <laughs> to keep up with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, we we are one of the what seven million or three million. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're we're in that little pond. Well, I'll I'll tell you what. I am even more intrigued, but I am still confused as <laughs> Same. fuck. I am more so intrigued, and I, I but I, I definitely feel have to catch y'all's yeah. episodes. Yeah, and I definitely no. want to. Um, and we're doing out. an edu- you know, we're we're, we're working on an edu- educational course now. Um, and what's so amazing about it is wh- that's why I'm trying to build this woman community because we're it's going to be hosted by women, so you can buy a course and it breaks it down into videos. And the people leading it, it's going to be women instead of why would you pay to see like a guy, you guys, you're going to sell an NFT for that? No, it's just education, of course. We're in the process of working with that. Um, so we're excited. And so, you know, I, I would love to sit down with you guys yeah. and help you out one on one. I know? I will. And, be, uh, so much. I'll be honest. Yeah. I, and I feel bad because now you guys have changed my mind because she kept yes. saying it. And I was like, Mom, I cannot take on one more Literally. thing. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Dude, I don't fucking I, care. I actually can't take on one more thing. Like, I, <laughs> no, I we like I were literally dropping. Like, we have this music festival that reached out to us that wants us to do their nfts for their music festival what? they're on the grammys website wow. what? yeah and th- it, no amazing and you literally no. we jump on the call and manny's like i just want to make things clear if you guys are not, not paying us commission i'm so sorry but we can't take this project and i'm like manny with the opportunity no. <laughs> you're yeah, tied with coachella yeah. <laughs> coachella oh. i mean that makes wow. sense that you have to be compensated yeah, you're at a point now where work. it's like yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they don't sure. make dollars. They don't make sense. But now it no. just it does. Open Today's my price mind. not yesterday's yeah. like crypto. Right. <laughs> That's crazy. Or I don't know, maybe yesterday. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> yesterday's price is higher. <laughs> would love to gain uh brainstorm some ideas. Ideas for you and help you guys out. Oh, I think I think to. you guys should definitely do an NFT for your podcast where you know I would love exclusive, that. you know, exclusive In real life members. Events, yeah. Merch. I mean, merch. Merch. You know, and we then, were talking about having a an event maybe we should do something like that and <laughs> 10 percent <laughs> well you know two separate prices yeah. u.s dollar price you know what or, no or no crypto. Crypto. i'm Honestly, like the chris jenner of the if you team. guys yeah <laughs> i'm like i'm like you're doing great sweetie <laughs> if you 
help us do this 10 percent easy i don't i don't i don't she mind says giving that up about the every, money. she's like if somebody <laughs> helps us it's so true hey, we would i love feel to that way we like, slocked the deal we yeah. yes. <laughs> everybody saw it yeah. I, I believe in that too man everybody gets paid everybody <laughs> eats on my table yeah yes. hey that's and that's what we say there's room for the loaf is big enough for everyone to eat mm, yeah. you know and if you don't have that mentality you don't need them on your team because down the line they're going to be a cost not an asset that's yeah, true exactly. yeah it's just yep. so interesting because this is a real life story. Thing, yeah. I was like, I am so intrigued since Gary Vee said it. And I am so confused. I think that you have I a crush stopped. on Gary Vee. <laughs> <laughs> you got a crush on Gary Vee. <laughs> Don't tell me. He's husband. coming to the <laughs> event tonight. Uh, hey, she's really gonna be there like, like super oh. dolled up. So I love it. Where's Gary? At? <laughs> Gary, you Gary. Promise. And I kept telling her, I go, Marcelo, we need to really figure this out. And she's yeah. like, I'm not doing it. I am not doing it. I'm not interested. I am not doing one and, more thing. And now I she's go, like, Marcella, I'm interested. We're, we're just kind of, <laughs> it makes more sense because I, well, I was like, NFT, it's like an Instagram. It's like a TikTok. <laughs> I was so lost. I and then I thought her. it was crypto. And then I'm I was I'm going to put that on a t-shirt. Is <laughs> NFT an NFT? <laughs> like oh my God. That's what I thought. Do you know That's what? You're going to be on our, on our education she's course commercial. She's that. No. <laughs> she's going to be on our education <laughs> course commercial. Like, I thought NFT was like <laughs> an Instagram account. But I took this course. I'm like, wow. It's true. It's true. And, and now I'm a millionaire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true that's what i thought because i was like i can't <laughs> learn another app i can't yeah. learn another thing I felt and I now feel it makes it uh -huh. just makes more it's sense it's an asset yeah mm -hmm. i mean it I is an it asset now. people want yeah. ownership of things right we all want ownership of something mm -hmm. so to have ownership of these things it's it wait gives... do you do private classes or like in person yeah. so that that's what you should do you should create kind of like you know different tiers like he said mm -hmm. um where you know that your most expensive one gives you one class a month with you for free mm -hmm. you know or yeah. or a one on one with you yeah. and obviously let's say somebody moves mm -hmm. somebody moves away they're I not do able that to now. Do, well no somebody moves away yeah. they they can't come to your class anymore what do they do they can sell it and with when they sell it you get royalties right. so you get you get a percentage every time it's sold make money off, money of, it off of it so yeah they can get so their money back everybody wins everybody wins and that's how you can place it that's to them so crazy. i have a play for you Okay, 10%. Oh. 10%. I'm going to make that a shirt, 10%. <laughs> yes. Deb's walking so. out of here with in everybody. I know, she's got it all. Hands and your clients yeah, brought art into NFTs. Maybe you could give them a free NFT as a receipt or for, oh. for paying for your course or your class. You just give them a free NFT. They're technically paying for the NFT, but... Okay. In another sense, you're giving them a free NFT, right? You could take it. Yeah, I'd have way. to be like, who is into NFTs in here? Well, right? so no, now, but it's like educating them. You yeah. know, when you educate them and you help them get set up with like a wallet oh, and that, true. Then, then they're gonna want to do it, and they're gonna like you're gonna make more money because you have I a bigger reach. So you make you make them interested into yeah. I see. It's so even if they're not into it, get yeah. a dope artist to create that NFT for you, mm -hmm. and even if you stop doing the classes. The art's dope, and people just buy the art. And now, even your receipts are making you money now. When you don't have to work anymore. Wait, the, the art of like a receipt? No, no, no. Well, so the NFT is a receipt for someone paying for your class, right? Right. But you have a dope artist to oh, create it because you buy art. So now, yeah, exactly. So now you're it's a double whammy. <laughs> you quit. You you retired no, we'll, giving we'll, we'll dance classes. After, after the... But now your art is dope, Being and sold. people are just buying the art they're not even they're, they're buying the art but they're right. not doing it for the class yeah. right you they're know what i mean art. yeah so it's like wow. yeah so it's like non-stop it's non-stop non yeah and it's crazy how some of our friends in this nft community community that we're part of make money i we just like sit back and they're like wow this guy on there actually it was actually crazy i think maybe like three months ago he only had a few thousand dollars of nft worth in his wallet he just quit his job just to do NFT full time yeah, about like a, five. about a month ago. Yeah. And he has a great nine to five, like a great nine to like five. Like regional manager for yeah. COVID testing sites. Yeah. And you know, those make a lot of money. Yeah. Because sites. look where we're at. <laughs> He's like, man, I want to do this. It's, can you believe that? And I, we were so surprised. I was like, wow. Yeah. You know, and it's like. In three months. I'm less. less. I, way less. He, he just quit like a month ago. Yeah. Something yeah. like that.
It was like wow. our first episode, I think. Yeah. We were talking about it. Already. And Manny, what do you do in there? Like, do you sell like your knowledge of all this stuff or what is your, like, what do you like I'm doing? A, I'm a collector, flipper, whatever. Flipper, but, flipper. um, <laughs> he's a flipper. You know, um, <laughs> kind of trying to, <laughs> um, build this personal corner thing yeah, with Columbus. Des. Um, so, you know, educate. Yeah. Um, but all my revenue is coming from, secondary sales of nfts that i've collected I and see. they people just end up buying it so it's like well and you put it out there i really sale. just wake up with money in my account that is, like, what the? no he literally does he'll text us at like three in the morning he's like oh my god just, I just made like three thousand dollars i'm like oh my god i'm working on my laptop <laughs> <laughs> so you no, collect all these nfts and then uh you put them up for sale and then if you just, just buy them you don't like, even have to list them for yeah. sale people, people oh. make, offers. make an offer. Oh. offer so uh-huh. so kind of how it works it's like you know, when you know a project is going to drop, um, they give a whitelist. So a whitelist means you're the first person to be able to purchase it. Early access. Early access. So you get it for floor price, which is the original. Like, let's say there's you're dropping, you know, some scissors at your hair salon. You only made 100. The first 100 people get it for what it's what, what it's worth. But then somebody can go on eBay or whatever and sell it for more because they're limited edition. You know, so it's the same concept. You buy at a floor price when it drops but you have to be on a white list which means like you have to be engaged in the community and you know be active it's a little hard to get whitelisted on some projects but if you are lucky enough you buy it at floor price and then you can go to open c and if it's a hyped up project you can sell it for however you know however much however much more so the people make their money Come buying whitelist and flipping them on open c for for those of those that don't know what OpenSea is. It's oh. it's like the uh, the world's largest uh, marketplace for NFTs. Um, they're evaluated for like three billion or four billion dollars or something. Oh, and that's yeah. an app. Yeah. That is an that is, that an, is app. an app. <laughs> that's actually an app. Yeah. So yeah. wow, they just provide <laughs> wow. They provide like, the wow. marketplace and people. <laughs> yeah, I think um, they're like the auctioneer. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. They make yes. Uh, oh, a, a percentage of every yeah. sale. And as uh, for January, I think there was like 800 million in, s- in yeah. sale or something. For January. For Just January. for January. Yeah. Some crazy number. Like, I can't remember exactly, but yeah. And they make a percentage of that. It's all about making percentages, right? Yeah. It's residual income yeah. all around. Yeah. And if you want, if you are jumping in now, you have a bigger chance of making a lot more money in now than more people that jump in in five years because mm-hmm. now not only are you educating yourself mm-hmm. now you're going to be more ahead of the crowd yeah. well, you know it's people like with are, all the like instagram or and all exactly. those things that people didn't jump no, on, on right away you're kind of feeling and like they're, they're like laughing behind. all the way to the bank now and of we're course. like and now we're just learning how to do like paid ads on instagram you know <laughs> yeah. you know it's and it's true. like yeah they're like oh really we made money from starting yeah. so you how know? early really is this Right like, now, I mean, like, barely scratching. No, the we're literally. Yeah, I mean, are we too late? I think NFT. You're never too late. When never when did late. NFTs no, like kind of start? Maybe um, maybe you can. Kind well, of- it started booming, um, maybe quarter two of last year when the crypto punks so and the bored new. apes so, started so popping new. off, mm-hmm. and it just blew up. It's not there. even been maybe a full yeah. year since the capacity. But NFTs have been around for a long time. Long time, but. but- but it's in, just now making it. Like, but now it's yeah. like what people so are paying attention. So you're not even mm-hmm. a year in into like Facebook. And now look, it's like fucking 12 Just to put it in perspective, there was like 35,000 wallets on OpenSea. So back to OpenSea, it's, a, <laughs> it's like the e- eBay of NFTs, right? So okay. there's 35,000 wallets on OpenSea. I was going to ask you if it's kind of like eBay because it I can wrap my head around it's, eBay. It's yes, the eBay kind of for of. NFTs. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there was 35,000 wallets on OpenSea last January. 35, January this year, there was over a million wallets. That's how fast it's grown. Whoa, and a yeah. wallet is wh- when like someone just, keeps all their, their, NFTs. their assets. All their assets. Yep. Crypto, NFT, whatever. Can I you buy house, a house with your wallet? The first NFT house in America was sold uh, this month. Shut February. up. So if yep. you're in real estate. Yes. If but it's virtual real estate, right? Real real estate. Oh, real real estate. Home in Florida was see, bought for $650,000 as an NFT. NFT. So if you are a real estate person. Look at Marcella getting it. Well, hey, I'm trying. I'm trying to really. I love it. Hey. So you're coming I'm tonight. So oh. 
<laughs> no, you should really come tonight. I think well, I want I think- to. I might have to come after my best friend's birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Come bring my best friend to at yeah. 10. What she should Can we hope come at 10? should yeah. totally because yeah. Hope makes Carrie so too. much. Yeah. Carrie is not coming. But, oh, um, hope Bill? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, man, I've been trying to get her on. And I, I almost reeled her in. But um, okay, dude, she makes like a besties. lot on all of <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you guys, no. it's all about She's networking. My, my That's what I said. All about you networking. see what I'm trying to you create? See what's happening? I'm trying to actually bring all that together. It's like yeah. you don't know who knows who and yeah. what I can help you with. And like let's say you run a business and you're like, I that's how I I was part of another networking women's networking mm-hmm. group, not NFT. That's why I have life insurance now. That's why I have like so many like so many things I didn't even know I needed. Mm-hmm. Like meeting these girls, yeah. I'm like, oh wow, I, I guess I need life insurance. I I guess I need this. Right. You know, and it's like networking to like really level you up in a yeah. better sense. Well, I think Hope would be super into it if she could because she's probably like me, like we're lost. <laughs> but yeah. but her husband does all yeah. crypto. Yeah. yeah. I talk to Justin almost oh, okay. once a week, maybe. Oh, oh, oh well, there yeah. you go. So um, yeah. So There's a platform a called Coco NFT where you connect your Instagram to the platform and you can mm-hmm. NFT your uh, Instagram Pictures, post yeah. and just list it for make uh, money that much. way. Yeah. So I could do that like tomorrow. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you could do that tomorrow. I mean, you got to go to the party. I got <laughs> have to go after Cruz. I think Cruz. he wants to come to can the party. He's like, girl, he's I'm like, down. Cruz, why don't we go to that party instead of Ashley's? Yeah, he's like, uh, fuck the other girls' party. You have to go, I mean, go he's for like, like an hour. The other oh, you just said party. that like on. <laughs> <laughs> you could just Sorry, go there, Ashley. say hi, and then go there. And then I can come after yeah. Hope. I feel like that's Wait, so How hope. many parties do you guys have? Is it one party or <laughs> like, like two? Oh, I'm like, she geez. has two and we have one. one. Oh, how come you're not invited to that one? I am. Well, no, I am. I'm so like, I'm going to Hope's and then Ashley's. Teams. And um, then I have to go to Hope's first. Yeah. No, for, yeah. For yeah. Sure. Shout out Hope. Shout out Hope. She did a commercial Shout with my son. I want to go to Hope's party. With your son? I know. Yeah, I'm she like, played I'm like, his mom. Can, I'm like, man, what? Yeah. Like, but I filmed so, the commercial. So. Oh, okay, so Hope was on our show last time we recorded, right? Yeah. 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 Love, nice. love, love. She's, She's also so one cool. of those people. It's like the most supportive woman. Love that. Mm-hmm. Love, love, like, love that. You know what Just I mean? Just the sweetest. Oh my yeah. God. So It's sweet. that country. It is her. Yeah. It's, yeah. The southern, it's the Southern girl. Uh-huh. Dollar bill. Yeah. It's dollar bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that I should bring her. Well, if she can come, I'll bring No. Her. Yeah. It's open to anybody that wants to not work and be Very part of some a tribe that's supportive. We'll be dressed like seventies. Hey, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I don't. You never know what I'm gonna be dressed in. Honestly, I would, like yeah. I look like I just went so cute. Paint something, or I, I look I like, love yeah. I, like I, my style hot is as so fuck, like you like, went to go paint something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my style is so diverse. I can literally wear a red suit and then look I like love this. it. Yeah, I love that though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. love it. She had or like this rainbow like suit on for one of her episodes. Oh, yeah. I had, <laughs> I, like I, I did. I had a tie-dye Cute. pink suit. Well, yeah. Oh, Cute. I need to give you, and I have a blue tie-dye one. Oh, my God. I love suits. Like, that's Ooh, that's the thing. But. Well, you guys are so yeah, you, intriguing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> like, I, I just want to know I, more my brain is and more. Spinning. And Same. seriously. Like, I love that. You know what's crazy? Coming on here, I, I thought no I was like, man, I don't think we're fun enough for them. What? I was like, man, I like... You know, Cruz, when he asked me to come on, I like watched some videos and I saw like, you know, everybody just being so like fun. I was like, dang, I don't know. Some people don't know NFTs, so they might not think it's as fun. This is amazing. You but make I like NFT amazing. fun. Yeah. <laughs> and sexy. NFT yeah. is sexy. Yes. Bringing NFT sexy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that. Okay. How about we jump to, do you know, do you guys want to say one more thing? Anything, Anything? else? tune into this episode yeah <laughs> shout out to posh yeah Aww. shout out to posh shout out Brittany. thank you guys so much thank like you, you yeah, i have sure. no, no idea I thank feel you for so having excited us excited for this i'm excited you're excited <laughs> yeah. and i'm excited to get you where you want to be yeah that's uh, i mean i would definitely at the end of the day we that. just want to help people elevate their lives through this technology oh, and but don't prevent the them from getting scammed <laughs> never and, never you know elevate your business <laughs> whatever the case may be yeah. it's a beautiful concept that it's not going anywhere so yeah. and, and i love that because i feel a lot of people do get scammed or a lot of yes. people are scared to get scammed I've so they scammed. don't you jump did. in yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You know? i've gotten scammed and it was so and it was and it was too. a really bad scam because i love shoes i'm a sneaker fan and i was on discord and 
this is actually a crazy story. If my friend Colton watches this, I lie to you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I got this this Discord DM, and it was like, it was I I own a pod, and so they sent me this thing that like Nike was doing like like crazy job. I didn't even think about it. I just bought it, you know, and it was like seven hundred dollars. And then I sent to my friend Colton. He's like, "That's." He's like, "Why would they DM you?" Like, no, no, do not unconnect your wallet. Do this. Oh, and like, I was like, "There's no way." And I go look, and then he goes, "He was like, wait, was it you?" And I was like, "No, it was my friend." Like, damn, like she's good. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> no, yeah, but it was. It I was like, fuck. It's like being so like gullible and naive yeah. because especially like something you're interested in or something it's like they give you what you know you'll like and it's like making sure you do your research you yeah. know looking at projects that are aligning with what you like you know a mm -hmm. lot of these projects give back they're um you know if we're buying their nft they give 10 percent to some sort of charity or animal group or activists so it's it's really cool to see you know what you're able to do and sticking to projects you like and love and making sure you like the art at the end of the day because it's your wallet at the end of the day red flag tip of the day yeah. you aren't special so these projects will not never dm, DM you. you trust me there's no <laughs> oh. nike would never dm yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So you gotta think about that like man. why is nike reaching out to me okay you know, you know what <laughs> <laughs> it was one time this is it the... was one time uh, <laughs> It We're all really attracted to red flags. flags. Yeah, li literally. <laughs> no, I've changed. I like green flags now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that's probably a really good one. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure people no, fall for it that was, a lot. It was like, I've, I've felt it for was it. like, it was like, they literally put like, like artifact. Um, it looks legit. Like it looks legit yeah. as fuck. It had the artifact logo, which is like, I own a pod and they, Nike did buy them out. That's why the price skyrocketed. But I was like, okay, this looks legit. And like it even had on their website because it takes you to a website. It had how many been sold, and like when you mint a project, it tells you like, oh, there's only these left. So it, like it looked like these people are like spending so much time making it so realistic. Scammers don't sleep. Scammers don't sleep. No. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> they work overtime. No, it's <laughs> oh, that's the scary part. With yeah, all this. it's and like the Tinder why, swindler that I. Just that's want. why we're, we're doing what we're I doing. I was like, how can you give up? You know what's funny? I texted the group message. I was like, guys, what? my enemies are after me. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was you like, watch it, I was right? like, oh I was like, God. quick, send me a board ape. <laughs> Yeah, my wow. enemies. You haven't. You have to. Watch you have it. to. Watch. I, I haven't. Watched I, it yet. If somebody texted me that, I'd be like, first of all, the, my crypto takes three days for my savings to my checking, <laughs> so I can't literally physically not take leave. out a loan. <laughs> no. If you love me, you'll do it. That's crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Perfect. Man. Yeah. 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 What's going on? What are we doing? <laughs> oh. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that's crazy that he's here. I know. Because um we that's insane that he's here. I like, I it was I a could total have, accident. What I, the fuck? A literally total accident because we had two guests booked for today's show and yeah. they both had to cancel for different reasons. Wow. And then you were coming on and then we T Swizzle. Oh, oh. That's so crazy. Uh -oh. When they said Trey was coming and I was like Trey, like gallery <laughs> deep by Trey. <laughs> you're you're on live now. Hair and makeup. <laughs> you're live now. Yeah, you're you're, you're we're I'm we're still recording. Oh, yeah. Hi. So I wanted you to walk in so <laughs> yeah. see each other. Gallery deep by come down here. They can't see you. Like Oh, yeah. Yeah, like Gallery D5. What's up, man? I've never met you. What up? Cruz, good to meet you, brother. All right. So, comes I in think with the Mike and Ike. All right. <laughs> so, thank you, Deb. Thank yeah. you. Oh, yeah. yeah, we just so finished much. this episode. Yeah. yeah. So, you should have got here a little bit earlier. Right. Thank you, everyone, for thank listening. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you.